your engines. We are all revved up here because Danica Patrick is in the house. She's one of the most famous athletes in the world. She took professional motorsports by storm and made history in the process. We're going to meet her in a minute, but first, here is a reminder of how she made it. Danica Patrick has been called a pioneer, a trailblazer, and the most successful woman in the history of IndyCar racing. Danica Patrick is for real. She first caught the world's attention in 2005 when she was ahead of her competitors, leading laps at the Indy 500 and ultimately finishing fourth. Well, here comes Danica Patrick. In 2008, she raced her way to the top of the podium in Japan, becoming the only woman to win an IndyCar race. Danica is the winner of the Indy Japan 300. Patrick would then go on to become the only woman to have led laps in both the Indy 500 and the Daytona 500, a rare triumph that only 13 other drivers, male or female, have achieved. These fans were cheering. They were on their feet. Last year, Patrick announced that she would be retiring from the sport that propelled her into a media sensation. This will be my last uh, season as a full-time driver. My sister told me I was supposed to get emotional. <laughs> I said I wouldn't. And with her characteristic determination, she is ready to keep living life in the fast lane. Please welcome the one and only Danica Patrick. <laughs> that image i love that image of you this badass race car driver shedding a tear right because mm. it's like the the it full up watching it the full beauty of a woman i'm mean, honestly you, you you're doing it all thank you how did you get into this sport um i started out in go-karting just as something to do as a family my dad worked a lot my mom was able to stay home with my sister and i um so it was our weekend activity it backfired at 16 i moved to england but for a good six years we, we had fun to race. Road. you moved yeah. to england to race i mean so yeah. what, how do you translate that because i did a little go-karting in upstate New York, back in the, in the parking lot behind our house. But oh, I never fun. then thought I would race cars yeah. professionally. So how did that... But I was really good at it. Yeah, that's the difference between us. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I mean, I remember, you know, I was winning in my first season. I almost won the championship. I didn't know what to do about blocking. That was one thing that held me back from winning the championship my first year, which I sucked to start with. Like, I couldn't even keep up on the parade laps. That's the part where you go really, really slow and follow the Thank leader. Thank you for explaining that. Um, so yeah, so I just learned really quickly and, um, you know, I, I love it. I mean, that, the fun part to me about racing is the setting a goal and achieving it. So, um, you know, I loved practicing. I loved going faster and instant you're, gratification with a stopwatch. You're one of the best race car drivers in the world and, and you are the best female race car driver in the world. Is it, what, what was that like? Cause there's very few women in the sport. So how did that affect your time? I didn't even think about that when I was younger. When I, it wasn't until I was about 14 years old where I had won a lot and I was starting to generate a lot more attention. Um, ABC, MTV, all these people were doing, you know, actually, oddly enough, there was a show. It just, it, I just saw a clip that had come out X amount of years ago. It was called A Passion of Play, Making of a Champion. And it was me, Anna Kornikova, and Tara Lipinski. And we were all 14. And so, wow. you know, they were coming through the halls of my high school and following me around around at the racetrack and it wasn't until then that I really started about started to really even think about being a girl and this For me, thing I'm just, just oddity being great to, to some yes and you and you were I mean she was beating the men in she's she's got all these records I mean I, we could spend all day talking about them that are you know co-ed that you you achieve yeah. these records in co-ed races yeah. is there a difference driving as a woman versus a man I mean does it does a man have an inherent advantage over a woman in any way when when driving a car no yeah I mean I, I don't think we'll ever really know but you know I mean, maybe you know, I have an advantage. I have to tell you, when everybody, when, whenever anyone mocks my lady driving, I think of you. <laughs> like, oh, thanks. I, I hope, hope you, mean... you guys have some ammo when you're like criticized for being a girl driver. I mean, I've, I've observed anything. I would say that number one, men are just you know structurally bigger. I mean, they just they, you know they're a little stronger. Um, they're not necessarily fitter. That's that's for tr that's I take that <laughs> I take that seriously. Um, but then the other part is I've always felt like I just have this ability to stay calm in situations. 
And it's not to say guys can't, but it's just proven to be true many times. And I feel intuitive as well. They've um, said that about female riflemen, too, in, oh, really? in the military, that they have that ability to stay calm, which helps them well, hit we, their mark. We, we now, we listen. We a lot, don't we, ladies? So, so they're... <laughs> And you're about to see some action. But before that, what GoDaddy has sponsored you. You've been in all yeah. their commercials, 13, yeah. 14 Super Bowl commercials. Yeah, yeah. And now your next focus is yeah. entrepreneurship, which means what? We've really grown up together so perfectly. So they're all about helping small businesses and working on your side hustle and making your dreams reality. And that's what I've done. I've got a book. I've got a workout program. I've got, I love to cook. I've got a winery. I've got a clothing line. So oh now she's so successful, she doesn't need to do any of this. She can just <laughs> enjoy the fruits of her labor. Can I just ask you, was there ever like fear while you were driving? Fe am I going to uh, feel fear in what we're about to do? I don't know. Do you feel fearful? I have fear of losing. <laughs> uh, I do too. So this is going to be good. All right. So we're going to do any advice for me as a professional go-kart operator? I mean, I would say that, um, no, I don't want you to beat me. So I don't have any. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to go. Here we go. Yeah. Are you scared for me? Yeah, I'm scared too. All right. Ready? Ladies. Oh, oh. <laughs> cha cha, ladies. Start your engines. Yep. Go! Oh my God! Oh, I'm scared. Oh, help me! Ah! <laughs> so far, so good. Oh boy, coming around. Ah! <laughs> okay, so far, so good. Except I don't think my brake works. Yes, this seems like the way it ought to be. Apparently. Hey, you know what? Uh, winning's winning, I guess, right? Good job. You're the best. Thank you so much. We'll be right back. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.